As the number of coronavirus cases in the U.S. has now risen to 11, an Arizona-based lab is working to develop a rapid test for the virus. Team 12's Colleen Sikora spoke with a scientist who's leading the research about how they're hoping to identify a possible treatment. Scientists at TGen North in Flagstaff are looking inside the DNA of the novel coronavirus and using its power to learn more about the virus and how it could evolve. Tens of thousands of cases worldwide, with 11 in the U.S., including one confirmed here in Arizona. This really is a cold virus gone wrong. Dr. Dave Engelthaler is leading a team of about a dozen scientists in the infectious disease wing of TGen North in Flagstaff. Clearly, not the novel coronavirus is the most important infectious disease right now. To understand the virus, the scientists at TGen North are looking microscopically. So that we can get more precise information about the strain of the coronavirus. They're looking at the DNA to find out more about it. So we can understand, is the virus changing? Uh, where is it present? Where is it more prevalent? And, and are there other related viruses out there as well? The team is using genome sequencing to develop quick tests that could help check for the virus in people and have results within hours, even minutes. We want to make sure that there was going to be more tools available to more doctors to be able to test their patients. So could this all lead to a vaccine or something to help with symptoms? Engelthaler says the team is working on it. Certainly no promises, uh, but we, we have a number of strategies to, to look in each of those areas to hopefully uh, make a positive impact. While the future of the novel coronavirus isn't clear, they want it ready for the in case. If it does get worse, hopefully then we'll be able to uh, quickly respond with these new technologies. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. Kind of cool that Arizona is right on the forefront of this information.